I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw overlapping red lanterns. I'm going to start two fingers in the center and I'm going to put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a flat oval. I come on the left hand side and I draw a straight line down. I come on the right hand side and draw a straight line down. I come back to the left and draw a slightly curved line over and connect. Starting right here on the left side, I draw a curved line down and over, leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, curve line down, over and connect. I come right here and draw a little straight line, curve line, straight line up, connect. And on the left, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line, wavy line over, wavy line up, connect. Inside this space, I'm going to draw a wavy, 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 wavy lines all the way across. Okay? I come right here to the center part, and I draw a straight line up off the page. I come inside, right here in the center, and I draw a curved line down, curved line down, curved line down, jump over, on the left, curved line down, curved line down. Okay, now we're going to do our first overlap. I come over here, and I take two fingers, and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a smaller flat oval. I draw a straight line down on the left, a straight line down on the right, and a curved line slightly over and connect. Now, on the left side, I can draw a big curved line down, and then bam, it crashes into that. Don't draw through your drawing. I come on the right hand side and I draw a curved line down, bam, it crashes into that, don't draw through your drawing. Come down on the bottom, we're going to draw a straight line, slightly curved line over, bam, it crashes into that. Come underneath, wavy, wavy line, wavy, wavy line, wavy line up, bam, it crashes into that, don't draw through your drawing. Come inside the space. Draw your wavy, wavy lines all the way across, okay? Come right here in the center, draw your curved line down, curved line, curved line, see how it hits? Don't draw through your drawing. On the left, curve line down, curve line down, and connect. Now, in the top, on the center, draw me a straight line up to the page. Okay, now come over here on the right hand side. This time, let's get closer to making our dot, and we're going to draw another flat oval. Straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, slightly curved line over, and connect. Come on the left hand side and draw your big curved line down. Bam, it crashes into that. Do not draw through your drawing. Come on the right hand side. Big curve line out, down, in, over. Let it crash into that. Come right here in the center. Straight line, slightly curved line, straight line up. Wavy, wavy line, wavy line over, wavy line up, connect. Wavy lines inside each one of these spaces. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come inside. We're going to draw that middle curve line, curve line, curve line. Come on the left, curve line down, bam, it crashes. 
Don't draw through it. Curve line down. Bam! It crashes. Do not draw through your drawing. Straight line up. Off the page. Okay, because I have my black out, I'm going to automatically add a dotted line on the edge of my paper to make a border which then finishes my edges. So you can do that right now before we start coloring. Jump over, don't draw through, even your border don't draw through your drawing. Okay, now let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to draw a yellow line next to the black lines I just drew inside the space of my lanterns. And that's because I want a little bit of that color to come through. Now, on this drawing, I am specifically using my colors in a very dark fashion. So if your hand starts to hurt, that's your cue to stop, rest your hand, come back later. Now you can see I'm not coloring mine all the way as I should because I don't want my hand to hurt. I already did one and it did hurt my hand, so I know you need to stop sometimes. But you want this yellow to really pop. So you want to do it dark, and you want to make sure you did your inside lines. Now, come down here and do the little space down here at the bottom. Okay, this is all done with yellow. Okay, once you've done that, if you have yellow orange, come in and do your wavy, wavy lines at the bottom. And again, I'm coloring dark because I really want my colors to pop on this one. So it's taking me a little bit longer to do these as dark as I want, but it really makes a difference on when you do the whole entire project. You want those colors to be strong, strong colors. Okay, now the last thing is your reds. And what I usually do is I go right next to that uh, yellow line and I make my first red line next to the yellow, not over it. You'll know because if you do hit the yellow, red and yellow makes orange, and all of a sudden you'll have an orange spot, which is fine, but we want these to be dark red. So I usually try to come in as close as I can to the edge and then color dark inside. Now this definitely, because I have three spaces to do this, definitely can hurt your hand. So if you start getting pain, just stop, give yourself a rest, and come back to it later. But you can see it looks really good. Now see my yellow just got killed by the red, oh, it turns orange. It's okay, it doesn't kill your drawing, but don't be surprised if that's what happens. So you're just going to take that red, do your line next to the yellow, Try not to hit it too off, too close, which I've already done a couple of times now. Same thing. Kind of outline the inside part. Fill it in with dark red. Now, if you've ever had the opportunity to see these lanterns in person, they're just beautiful. They're amazing. And you should see them lit up. They put lights on inside. Again, get as close as you can to the yellow. You still want some of it to show. Fill in with your red. All the way across. Whoops. Now I'm totally going off the lines. I'm going over my yellows, but guess what? It's okay. No mistakes in art. 
Then, if some of you are going to have bigger lanterns than others, that's okay too, because we all draw differently. Pretty much everybody will end up with three. If you need more, draw some more. Okay, not really great. You guys will do better than me, coloring. But you get the general idea. Let's see what these are supposed to look like all colored in. Okay, here are my overlapping red lanterns all colored in. They really pop. Okay, bye-bye.